You know what? I'm kind of surprised. Azoxystrobin, propiconazole, floxystrobin, baking soda, vegetable oil. Wait, what? Did my wife put her, her grocery list in my video notes? Give me a second here. Nope, that's right. Apparently, using two commonly found ingredients in your kitchen pantry mixed with a gallon of water can help treat fungus in your lawn. I'm gonna have to test this out. Ravaged, completely ravaged. You can prepare all you want to. You can do everything right. You can follow all the lawn rules, but out of nowhere, fungus can attack your lawn. Whether it's brown patch, blithe, rust, or other various diseases, there are preventative methods you can take to hopefully stop fungus before it starts. But unfortunately, Mother Nature plays by her own rules. I'm not an expert at identifying lawn fungus. I know what to look for, but it's not something I'm really comfortable teaching on. So down in the description box below, I'm gonna to link to a couple videos from Pest and Lawn Ginger that I highly recommend you check out after you finish watching this video first. The other day I was doing my normal meandering around the lawn and I noticed that it was looking a bit off. Upon closer inspection, I found a couple of circular dead areas of grass. At first I thought it was where the neighborhood dogs pee in my lawn, but if that was the case, the grass around that dead area would be dark green. Coupling that evidence with the overall appearance of the lawn, I came to the conclusion that I have fungus. One of the cons of having a tall fescue lawn is that it's highly susceptible to disease. There's just something about fescue that fungus loves. Anyway, let's say, like me, you have fungus in your lawn. There are a couple things you need to do or stop doing as soon as you determine you do have fungus in your lawn. First off, no more striping and start bagging. Fungus can spread through your striping kit. Also, mulching or side discharging keeps that fungus riddled leaf tissue in the lawn. So bagging removes all those clippings from the area, assisting in recovery. Stop all high nitrogen fertilizer applications. I know you've heard about letting it grow out, but that's after the fungus has been treated. High nitrogen fertilizers will force a weakened plant to grow, which causes stress. Especially if you have brown patch, like I do, stressing out the root zone to force growth could cause more harm than good. If you want to apply some fertilizer in the lawn that will assist in the recovery and overall health of it, apply something high in potassium and sea kelp. That will assist the root zone and the overall health of the plant. Similar to if you were to take multivitamins, potassium and sea kelp, while you were on antibiotics. It's oxystrobin and propiconazole. Depending on what fungus you have, you should also consider stopping all irrigation, if at all possible. Some funguses thrive in the wet environment. Okay, let's get to treating fungus. I'm a full believer in the bulletproof strategy of treating fungus. That's using both oxystrobin and propiconazole. You can get Scott's Disease X, oxystrobin, and BioAdvanced Fungus Control for Lawns, propiconazole, from most big box stores. This is a one-two punch that can both prevent and kill disease. So, I'm gonna be doing a test. The traditional method for treating lawn disease, the bulletproof strategy, versus the homemade option. Oh yeah, the homemade option, <laughs> one sec. Baking soda, vegetable oil, water, and just a dash of dish soap. The funny thing is, this wasn't the original plan for this video. I was gonna talk about potassium and fungus in the lawn. Mixing one tablespoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vegetable oil, a few drops of Dawn dish soap, and a gallon of water will supposedly kill fungus in your lawn. Honestly, I'm not quite sure on the science behind this method, but from the little information I was able to gather, you're making an alkaline solution which kills the fungus. Supposedly, the acidity in soil makes for a better hosting ground for the fungus, so by making it more alkaline, you're drying up the spores, which kills the fungus, or something like that. If you know anything about this solution and the science behind it, comment down below, please. Like I said, I don't understand the science as to how or why this works to kill fungus, but so many people vouch for it, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. For this test, I'm splitting my lawn at the tree. I know, it's not even but I want the larger area to be treated by the more proven solution of exoxystrobin and propiconazole. The smaller area will be the all-natural remedy, just in case it doesn't work or ends up killing my lawn. Oh yeah, 
And like when you apply most things to your lawn, there is a risk of damaging your grass. Using too much baking soda can dry out your lawn, so do not apply this during the heat of the day. Everywhere that I have found that mentions this solution says dusk is the best time to apply this remedy because letting it sit overnight will be better. If you have to, applying it at dawn the next morning is okay. This method needs to be applied every three days to at least once a week until the fungus dies. Also, no watering for 24 hours. The bulletproof strategy can be reapplied after 14 days if it doesn't knock out the disease after the first application. Something I'll be applying with both fungus treatments is Green Kick, RGS, and Air 8. As I mentioned, potassium and sea kelp will help the root zone, thus boosting the overall health of the plant, assisting in recovery from this bout of illness. I'll be doing a full video on this application on the next DIY Lawn Channel. You know what? I'm kind of surprised. But don't get me wrong. Just because I'm surprised doesn't mean that the all-natural remedy is perfect. It definitely has its issues. Let me explain. So it has been now three and a half weeks since I did that very first treatment trying to treat the fungus. Bulletproof strategy on this side, which is azoxystrobin and propiconazole, and the all-natural remedy, baking soda, vegetable oil, and dish soap on this side. Now, like I said, it has been, you know, three and a half weeks or so, and the fungus, I think, is gone on both sides. Definitely on the bulletproof side. And I've been kind of wishy-washy on the all-natural because the all-natural did have more residual damage than the bulletproof side. And the reason why, I think it works slower. So with the bulletproof strategy, you do one application of it and you wait two weeks. If the fungus isn't gone, you can come back with another application of it. Where with the all-natural, you gotta do it every three days to once a week. And so that means that you constantly gotta be spraying it. If you don't spray it enough, it's not gonna work as well. So it takes longer for that treatment to take effect, which gives fungus more time to cause more damage. So I do have more die-off on this side than I do on the synthetic bulletproof strategy. However, still though, it worked. Like the fungus is gone. And then this weekend I actually came out with an application of 12-12-12 fertilizer and I've gotten a lot of growth. There's not as much die off as there, or I'm sorry, you can, I can show you here. While there's still some color variances where some areas are still recovering slower than others, for the most part the colors come back looking nice. Um, not perfect like I said, but coming back looking nice. And so I think it's safe to say that that treatment, the all natural remedy, does work but just be prepared you got to stay on top of those applications and it's not going to work as fast just got to keep that in mind the all natural works it just takes a little bit longer than the synthetic or whatever bulletproof strategy so like i said i did put down the stress recovery cocktail from green county fertilizer which is ck green kick and aerate if you want to watch that video and learn more about the application click it Right over here. If you want to buy any of those products, click down here. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Do all that stuff too. Go on vacation. <laughs>